Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you happen to be watching this, welcome back for another Football Manager Experiment video with myself, DJAM. And today we're going to be having a look at a potential new signing for my football team, Norris Football Club. We have been heavily linked with Onel Hernandez, a winger from the German League. Now, what I'm going to be doing in this experiment is simming into the end of the season to find out how he would get on in the particular Norwich team as things stand. Now, I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. But if we just have a few seconds to take a look at his profile, can play on the right wing. That is his predominant position, but can play on the left-hand side as well. Possible option through the middle, but he's not as comfortable in the middle. He prefers a wing position, and that is in reference to his stats here. As you can see, physical attributes, he is lightning quick. We will have somebody on our hands who's got a lot of pace, a lot of acceleration, good agility about him. And from a winger point of view, he's got good flair, good dribbling, okay crossing, but he does have a lot of work to do. So he is going to be a flair player. Someone who can possibly come on to make an impact or if you want somebody just to run at defenders and cause havoc I think Hernandez is probably going to be your guy. If we have a look at his history though All been spent in the German league. So again Norwich going back to what uh, Stuart Weber and also Daniel Farker know best which is the German league uh, He's spent a couple of years um, with Wolfsburg's uh, sort of second string team been uh, with Braunschweig in German second tier football but has now, or going, possibly going to be signing for Norwich. If we have a look at the actual team then, what I've done is I have updated it to what it is as things stand. So I've got rid of the likes of Alex Pritchard, uh, Yannick Wiltshire, um, I've got rid of uh, Russell Martin, Cameron Jerome, all that kind of stuff like that. I've, I've got rid of all of those players and I've put in Kenny McLean and also Ano Hernandez just to see how these guys are going to get on in the first year so that i'm just going to sim one year into the future and see how hernandez can do in the championship if you guys enjoy this video hit the like button and just so you just so i know what the you guys are enjoying it um how do you for norwich fans do you think this guy's going to be of decent signing in real life are you what do you know of him have you do any of you watch German football? Let me know down in the comment section. Um, and if there are any German supporting football teams in here and you have seen him, let us know what this guy's like in real life. But let's sim one year into the future and find out how he gets on. So end of season one then. Let's see if Hernandez has made any sort of impact at all. Um, let's just go and try and find out. Uh, Bristol City have obviously sacked their manager, so they haven't done particularly well. Uh, right, so Norwich ended up finishing in 10th place. I think that's pretty much reflective of where they will finish in real life, there or thereabouts, mid-table. Although some of the team's predictions in here. I mean, Bristol City and Sheffield United getting relegated. Sheffield Wednesday being fourth from bottom. Uh, Birmingham being right near the top. Sunderland and Hull going up. Well, that's quite clearly wrong. Anyway, we're not here to look at the championship. We're here to look at his impact. So... We can see on here that if we have a look at his stats, so he's played 20 championship appearances, nine also substitute appearances, scored five goals and four assists, just below a 7-0 average rating. So he's been okay, not been used massively. I think if you actually compare him uh, to some of the other players in here, uh, Josh Murphy, Marley Watkins, whoever this guy is that they bought in on loan, have all played more than Hernandez. So he's actually had one of the lowest appearance ratings at the club. He's right down at the bottom here. So he's not been played as much as he could do. And when you think he's actually scored six goals and as I said, four assists, he's right up there. He's, he's the fourth highest goal scorer and the fifth highest in terms of assists. So that's a bit of a strange one from Norwich. I don't know why they wouldn't have been playing him a bit more. So I think he's going to make some sort of an impact. You know, I mean, if there's any, if football manager's anything to go by, he's made an impact in terms of um, the, the games that he has been playing. But I think he's probably more, based on his attributes, he's probably more used as an impact player rather than somebody who starts particular games. But that. That's a good indication for me is to see whereabouts he's at with the actual squad. 
Where can you see Hernandez fitting in, Norwich fans, in our new system of a 3 5 2? He's going to be, you know, if he's a winger, he could be playing um, in the front three positions that we have right now. Um, do you think he'll be a success at our club? Let me know down in the comment section if you think he will. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with this experiment. I think there's a good level and a good indication to see where he's at. And I like the look of this lad in terms of real life. I think he could be a very good impact player. As like I said, let me know your thoughts. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all that kind of jazz. And until we see each other next time, adios.